All right, in 2014, the world watched as two American missionaries basically received a death sentence when they contracted the Ebola virus while serving in West Africa. Well, now three years later, the Ebola epidemic is over in Liberia. Both missionaries are alive and well, and next month, the documentary of their journey is set to be released. Dr. Kent Brantley never set out to become a household name, and he certainly didn't intend to become the face of Ebola. And now the documentary titled Facing Darkness chronicles the journey which brought him and missionary Nancy Wrightbull to Atlanta and Emory University Hospital. It was, it was extremely stressful. All I could think of was I don't want him to die. Facing Darkness is the true story of how Dr. Kent Brantley, a man on a mission for Samaritan's Purse, inadvertently became the face of the deadly Ebola crisis in West Africa in the spring of 2014. In this country, no one knew anything about Ebola. It wasn't in the news, even though it was, it was ravaging parts of West Africa. It was not in the news here. But it wasn't until Dr. Brantley uh, became ill that all of a sudden that America woke up, the CDC woke up, and the National Institute of Health woke up, the White House woke up. And this, this is a documentary of what God did uh, at that moment. Dr. Brantley was serving in a mission hospital in Liberia, a country trying to recover from civil war when he contracted the disease. I received my diagnosis, it, it very much felt like a death sentence. Uh, but, but that was... I don't know how to, how to explain that. I, I did think that I would probably never see my wife and kids again. His story, along with that of Nancy Wrightbull, received national and international attention, and Emory University Hospital became ground zero in the fight against one of the world's deadliest diseases. And I just thought to myself, this is it. I think this documentary is a message of hope. And it's not hope that if I get sick, everything's going to be okay. It's, it's the hope that God is active in this world, that, that he is faithful, and that he is using people in the darkest of places to, to be a blessing and to care for those in need. Just pray, Mom. Just pray. This was, a, this was a dark, one of the darkest times in my life. And uh, I, I tease him, but I tell him, he's responsible for the worst week of my life. <laughs> he, he jokes, he, he says his week wasn't much better. It wasn't, wasn't any better. <laughs> but, with, but this is, a, this is an incredible, this is, these are real people. These are not actors. This is the real deal. This is the real story. And people could see what God did. Facing Darkness, a true story of faith, will be in theaters for one night only, March 30th. Franklin Graham hopes this movie will motivate another generation of young doctors. And for tickets, you can go to FacingDarknessMovie.com, and we'll have a link to that and other information on our website, Fox5Atlanta.com.